With the newest version of the CAB app, version 7.3, you have the ability to set up your spray application information in two different ways. This video will explain how to use each method. To begin, you're going to open the CAB app on your iPad, then select Settings, Applications, and Add New Application. You'll type in a name to help you recognize this application and select Next. You'll then select whether the products are granular or liquid and select Finish. This will open the application setup page. You'll now notice that there's a toggle on the right hand side that allows us to set up applications either by rate or by amount. Clicking on the question mark icon will give you a description of both of these methods. We're going to begin by going over how to set up an application by rate. And the first thing you need to do is to enter your water volume in the application base rate column. So I'm going to enter 10 gallons per acre. Then you need to select add product at the bottom of the screen and begin typing in the name of the product that you're going to be using. In this case, we're going to select Roundup WeatherMax. Next, I need to enter the rate of Roundup WeatherMax we're going to be applying to the field. I'm going to tap gallons so that I can change the unit of measure to liters and then type in 0.67 liters per acre. If Roundup is the only product that I'm adding to the tank, then I'm done setting up this application by rate, as the platform is going to assume that any missing volume is either carrier or water. If I want to set up an application by amount, I need to enter the total volume of everything I'm putting in the tank, including my water or carriers. So, if I'm going to be adding just Roundup and water to the tank, instead of entering 0.67 liters per acre, I'm going to say that I'm adding 67 liters total. You can see that the total mix amount in the upper left-hand corner is self-calculating itself. So 67 liters of Roundup equals 17.7 .7 gallons total. As I mentioned, we also need to add water. So I'm going to select Add Product and start typing in water. And then I'm just gonna select Add Custom Product from the list. Because the total mix amount self-calculates, I can take the total volume of my sprayer, let's say it's 1,000 gallons, and subtract the amount of product that I've entered, 17.7 .7 gallons, to come up with the remaining water volume that will fill up the sprayer. So in this case, the remaining amount would be 982.3 gallons, and we can see that that self-calculates to a total 1,000 gallon total mix amount. This is how you set up your spray applications by amount. We hope this update makes setting up your spray applications easier, and as always, for more information, visit our website, www.climatefieldview.ca.